What's up guys, it's you and welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown Live. This is episode number 77, and uh, yeah, we're going to be using the same Cholo squad that my boy Invoker uh, RMT'd. Uh, link should be down in the description below. Uh, if not, he'll probably cover me. And my voice is a little raspy, but, you know, it's okay. And this dude has the name Nike. Like, honestly, you're a god if you can get, like, Nike as your, like, alt. But anyway, this guy's using a team that I think... It looks like kind of chimp-ish because like these two together. Anyway, um, rocker for him is that, but he could lead off with this for momentum. So I think I'm gonna lead hippo, and the reason I'm and the reason I'm gonna lead hippo is because it just kind of gives me a good jump from the gun. Um, Kiram doesn't really do a, a whole lot of work for me this game, uh, particularly because his team is a lot faster and Kurum typically does better versus balance but what oh <laughs> for a second i thought that i had sandstream like I, I forgot i had sandstream and i thought he was like intimidate sandstorm lando that would have been cool um this is really the only notable thing on a team that gets rocks i'd be surprised if he uh, goes straight away for the U-turn right here. So I'm just going to go and get my own rocks up because they do threaten his team to a fair amount. As that's what he does decide to do. And right here, I can uh, just go straight away for the crunch. Because um, EQ is about to do zero. Um, if he U-turns out, then, you know, okay. Your problem. <laughs> um, that actually did nothing, which is great. So what, I'm, what I think I'm going to do right here. God, this thing's actually kind of an issue. But, you know, um, as long as I weaken this, I think I just win with Slowbro. And that's the great thing about Slowbro, is that it just, like, takes the team and put, puts it on its back. Right here, I'm fairly certain he's going to U-turn, and uh, don't want him going out to Starmie, really. Um, what would this force him out into? Probably going to Talon. But what does this do for- okay, th this forces Metagross to click EQ, um, which is, I guess, nice. Um... I could go into Bisharp, or I could go into Kyurem. Because Kyurem would, like, force him into Metagross or something. Of the sort. Uh, I think I'm gonna do that, because I, I highly doubt he Stone Edges here. I think that would be kind of a bad plan, his part Stone Edge, but, you know. We'll see. Because I'm actually gonna be taking a lot of residual right here, because, it, you know, 25% from Rocks, 20% for U-Turn, 6% from Sandstorm, that I'm already at 50%. Um kind of expecting to see Talon right here, to be honest, um, although we'll see. Um, he could very easily just pull something else out. Also, if he's T-Bolt Starmie, he can impair my Slowbro Sweep, but ends up going on to Metagross. Interesting, because um, I outspeed you no matter what, and you're about to take this Earth Power, and you're not going to like it, um, unless he just makes a double right here, but if he wants to like double around like that, that's fine. I don't lose a whole lot by just staying in. And I kind of wish I had Healing Wish on uh, Latias, because I feel like that would actually work kind of well with this team, because it can help Slowbro shrug off status, it helps Volcarona versus Stall, because, you know, Volcarona manhandles Stall, but it doesn't necessarily, like, that if it gets status, then that's kind of an issue, and it can get put under pressure and put on the clock, but anyway, uh, this guy's taking a little while to make his move, so we're going to go ahead and hit him with the timer, and uh, I'll be right back. See ya. Not, not not see ya, but I'll be right back. Could be bullet punch. Um, right here though, like that that's garbage coverage. But I can go out into uh, my boy Slowbro, I think. And if I really want to make a double predicting either Thundee or Starmie, um, which would probably push me out in Lottie, because uh, Lottie takes those two things on pretty well. It's probably Scarf Thundee. Um, yeah, but I'm just gonna double right here in Latias because I highly doubt he stays in. He's like he will actually do zero damage with any attack he throws at me. And if I get two call mines up and he's not specs or nasty plot, then it's over. Um, and I don't think that's a risk he can take. So he just ends up going out to start me right here, which is fine because the double has been made. I can click Draco right here, and he's lefties. He looks to be more of a bulky variant to start me, um, meaning that I may outspeed him, or he's just like offensive leftovers. Um, we'll see. You know, offensive leftover, like run leftovers, max speed star me isn't bad, but it's not good either. Like, I, I would rather just run like life orb recover at that point, like splash plate even. 
Um, but however, we will see what he decides to do right here. Um, he just ends up switching out to Metagross. If this has per if uh, if this is Pursuit Bullet Punch, your boy's gonna be a little disappointed. Um, I'm probably just like I have no reason not to go in a slow room. What? If you are actually Pursuit Bullet Punch, you are walled by so many things. Unless you're just Zen Head, but you don't run Meteor Mash, which is a bad idea. So he just goes for the Meteor Mash, which is fine. The zero, and um, kind of feel like going into Volcarona as a middle ground play, but that also just sucks. Um, so I'm gonna go into Bisharp instead. Actually, he doesn't really lose anything by switching out right here, so I'm gonna switch out a lot. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I can win with Slowbro, <laughs> pretty much. Um, and how many Calm Minds will need to take on Scarf Thundy, because that's looking like what his team is at this point. He doubles out his Darmy again, so it's easy. Um, I know he's just going to switch now, so I'm just going to defog, uh, get the rocks off the field. Gives Volcarona a lot easier time switching in, which is beautiful. Also, if I happen to burn him um, as he goes for the Meteor Mash versus Lottie, that'd be wonderful as well. Um, so anyway, I'm going to open up E here, Calc. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to Calc... Thunderous T. Oh, you nasty blob will do that, I'm sure. Versus my boy Slowbro Mega. Or Ash, good. Thunderbolt will do a lot. What if I'm at plus two? Thunderbolt is still probably gonna KO me. So I need to get to plus three to where I, I can just slack off damage. That's unfortunate. So he ends up going for the Ice Beam, revealing that he is max speed. Garb. Um, I'm just gonna go into by sharp right here because I will be able to take this uh, attack pretty easily. Uh, I can also take an HP fire if that's what he does want to go for, and then I can just click pursuit, and uh, this thing's out of my hair. Then I win the hazard war pretty much. Um, he just goes for hydro. Good play, but that did nothing, boy. I'm a salt vest. We out here. I'm strong, <laughs> bulky. Um, we'll see what he does because he'll die to a knockoff kind of think he'll want to switch out right here into something like Machamp, although he could just stay in, we'll see. We shall see indeed. Bisharp is actually kind of helpful because it beats Metagross, but at this point we see that he clearly has nothing to beat. Bye bye <laughs> He clearly has nothing to beat. Um, well, like, he's not carrying Grass Knot on Metagross. That's, what, that's the point I'm trying to make here, people. He's not carrying the Grass Knot on his Meta Blast. Um, so, as I said, just one Mon that needs to go down before Slowbro just picks the team up and is like, I got this covered, guys. Uh, he goes out into his own Machamp right here, which is fine. I have Volcarona, um, which I think at this point can actually set up some Quiver Dances and threaten his team a little bit. Uh, that's what I do want to do. If that is what I do want to do. Because he does still have that, which is a minor issue. And it's also kind of nice for checking Metagross, but he just ends up going for the Dynamic Punch. Does nothing. Give me the burn. Burn! Hello. <laughs> um, so I think right here, I'm just going to click... Oh, he has Stone Edge. Unfortunate. I'm going to go out into Slowbro. Um, and then I can just fire off a Psy Shock, probably, as he really only has one switch in. Because, um, you know, Water Psychic is actually a pretty neat stab combination, if I do say so himself. Uh, he may go out of Talon right here. Um, there's Talon, which is fine. Um, what I'm going to do right here is, I don't think I'll lose anything by clicking Scald. This is going to do a lot to him. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and click Scald, and the reason being is that I'm kind of expecting either a hard switch or a U-turn. He's not going to want to stay in, because he will do nothing to me. Uh, yeah, he just U-turns. But the reason I didn't Mega Evolve is because I do want that Regenerator. Um, he will do, like, 27-28% with Choice Banded U-turn, which I suspect he is. But now whatever he goes into risks the burn. Burn. Beautiful! I love you! Okay. <laughs> um... And I also have my boy Hippo chilling here at full health. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go out into Latios because Latios is a lot less important to me right now. Um, Volcarona has kind of done the work that it needs to um, because Slowbro beats Machamp now. Slowbro beats Talon. Slowbro beats Lando. Slowbro beats Mega Metagross. The fact that I got the burn on this is huge. 
Um, and even if he volt switches right here, it's like best thing he can do is go out and something the speed Titus. He ends up nasty plotting right in my face. Don't we don't play these games? <laughs> I'm clicking Psy Shock right here, even though I know he has Mega Metagross. Uh, I can't play around with this threat right now. It's just not not a thing that I can do. Um, he, see, to me, it's kind of hard. Like. I know it sucks to switch out of Pokemon after you set up, but I think he kind of has to right here. Uh, this thing sits at a really awkward speed tier. Uh, I think it's like 101. Data Thunderous T? 101, yeah. So it sits at a really awkward speed tier, and he just ends up going out into his Lando, which is fine, because Psy Shock plus Draco should be more than enough to knock this thing out. Assuming that I hit, I've already missed one Draco. Um, given that it didn't really matter much, but you know, it's chip damage, and, yeah, all right, honestly, I think this is a really, really good team, I, I know Invoker used this to get his Rex, um, so, like, clearly, it's a good enough team, we'll see how it goes after the ban, the, the banning threat is actually up, I don't know what I'm gonna vote yet, I'm leaning no ban right now, but I've, like, flip-flopped, like, seven times in the past week, um, so, you know, we'll see what I decide to vote. Because, you know, it does kind of change the future of the metagame. I think the metagame is a little bit healthier with, um, with Metagross in it. Oh, he goes, he just got, uh, beautiful! <laughs> nice. Um, I'm, I can just click Draco right here. It's not actually an issue. I'm just going to go ahead and sack this because... I know that Thundee really isn't a problem for me anymore because I do have Sucker Punch on this, and I know he's not like sub Nasty Plot. He could be sub Salic. No, no mind. He's not sub Salic. Sub Salic Nasty Plot is a cool set that I may try in the future, just because you like sub up on a defensive threat. You Nasty Plot. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Lando. <laughs> Hope you weren't planning on like checking. Well, like it doesn't actually beat anything on my team, so I guess that's an okay play. Um, he'll probably just go into Talon right now. Talon would be his best play, but then he has to risk the burn on something else. I had no reason to switch. Um, Spideff, Hippo, so I beat Fundy. Anyway, okay. You boys click in Psyshock, although he's probably just gonna bullet punch right here. And, um, honestly, I think I kinda got this game in the bag. Because what I do after this is I just go out into Slowbro and click Psy Shock. He can't really stop me from doing that. And at this point, Slowbro just kind of brings the game home. Because this should take significant enough damage from a Psy Shock. And that will take significant enough damage from a Psy Shock. So, overall, I think I played pretty well this match. I, I think a lot of it is a measure of how good this team is because this team just comes in it okay Ugh. <laughs> okay that, that's one that like I can understand one if it gets to like two or three you boys gonna be a little disappointed um, because okay go goes for the knockoff yum have this Psy Shock. Um, so I know he's gonna dynamic punch again. And at this point, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and Volcarona because I can get my regenerator back. I have the chance to burn him. And it's not really a productive situation for him. I haven't seen his fourth move. It's either Earthquake or Stone Edge, I think. Stone Edge makes more sense on a no guard set because, you know, uh, Edge Quake and Fighting, whatever, have pretty good synergy. Flame Body. Uh, bro, it's like you don't even have flame body at all. Um, I'm gonna click fiery dance right here, and the reason being is because I have no fear. I just want damage on this Machamp, and any damage I get is welcomed. He can, like he could very easily just stone edge right here, but I don't think it should be a problem. Don't think so. I'm actually. Uh, what is this garbage? Also, like, where's my flame body? <laughs> like, at least if you're gonna confuse me down, then give me my flame body. But, goes out in a Talon. Yeah. 
Um, I'm gonna go into Hippo right here, get some residual damage, as he probably just brave birds. Um, anyway, I'm gonna Calc my champ versus Bisharp, and what, how that matchup plays out. Um, I'm adamant. Iron Head will do 46 to 54, so may actually be able to bring it home. Um, yes, he didn't SD. If he had SD'd, I may have lost right there. Um, kind of want to keep this thing around. <laughs> actually, there, there's not really any point. Um, I'm just going to get up my rocks if he does choose to like switch out or whatever to try to preserve this and beautiful. But, oh, what's this Metagross at, by the way? Um, this Metagross is still at 89%. So, what does this do to Mega? That's a gross. Um, Sucker will do 72 to 86. That's minus defense. Oh my god. Help me. Um, what if you, well, let's just say you were adamant. Okay, that is 77. So, I'm going to go out into Slowbro right here because he can't switch into this because uh, it'll die to a scald um talon flame it's choice ben brave bird isn't really gonna do that like it's gonna do a good amount it's gonna be 40 some percent but i'm kind of fine with that at this point in the game uh because i just click scald and he because i'll click scald i'll knock this out he'll go into this and i can pivot into volcarona sack volcarona sucker iron head and sucker and I think I just cleaned up the game um, because he'll probably go out into my champ thinking that he can take one and like even at that point as long as I get rid of Thundee the game is over so also my voice is like on fire right now so actually he switched out cool okay that that risks a burn that's a bad play horrible play um, I'm just gonna click scald again reveal grass knot <laughs> um, I don't lose anything by going for Scald. I suppose it's nice that he did this, because now I actually just win with, uh, Bisharp. If I get my Sucker Punch games right versus Talon, so. You know, th this game is just kind of drawn out at this point, I guess, because I have sufficiently theory mod my ways to win. Okay, what, what, what help? What was that play? Because he's going to take Sand, and then he's going to die to burn. <laughs> How to an in-depth tutorial to sacking your win condition by Nike? <laughs> Just do it. Just sack it. Ha! <laughs> that was a Nike joke. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. I'll be right back. Pause. Thanks. I got that whole like shenanigan of me talking before I actually paused it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mega evolve and slack off. Um so that he can't crit me with this Brave Bird and I can just slack off and win the game. Because at this point, Mega Slowbro pretty much just wins. <laughs> U-turn, nice damage. Let me get back up to full health real quick. Sandstorm, I think, ends at the end of this turn. Did I send this in at turn 25? Sandstorm kicked up. Um, yes, I did. So, it will end at the end of this turn. And... <laughs> It's time! Mega Slowbro is here, and it's ready to win. I don't think... Actually, the Skull doesn't gonna do that much, but I'm just going to uh, start Calm Minding, I think. Yeah, he just ends up forfeiting, so that's a good game. He, he saved us all some time, so... If you guys did enjoy today's episode of Pokemon Showdown Live, please make sure to leave a like. Is it really to self show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel? Also, make sure to enter today's comment question of the video, which is... I don't know what the comment. What are you guys voting on Metagross Light if you have Rex? I know that I, I'm trying to not make these uh, Pokemon related, but sometimes it just happens like that. So, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop.